Okay guys, Mr. Jalapeno here with another episode of Jalapeno Drywall. And on today's project, I'm gonna show you how to repair a drywall bump or a drywall blister, whatever you wanna call it. So first thing you gotta do is lay down some plastic and then get your utility blade to remove the blister. I always recommend to do a little Dexter containment. This will just help keep all the dust and debris inside the area. I'm working in the kitchen, so I don't want it to get dirty. Now I'm just gonna get my stud finder to see if there's a truss or an eye joist around the damaged area there. Luckily there was one right there, so I was able to put a couple screws on each side. This is just gonna help strengthen everything around that area. That way there's not gonna be any movement. And after everything's been prepped, it's time to apply the hot mod or the Easy Sand 5 here. You can also use just regular joint compound, but it's going to take forever to dry. Compared to like this Easy Sand 5, where if I apply the first coat, I'm able to apply the second coat in like 5 to 10 minutes. And that joint compound takes about an overnight dry, so it does speed up the process quite a bit. After you're done pre-filling the damaged area, it's time to apply a little bit of mesh tape. The mesh tape in the hot mud is kind of what rebar is for concrete. This is just going to help strengthen the repair. Just make sure to remove the excess mud and the excess mesh tape as well. And so I let the hot mud set for about 10 minutes, and then I applied the second coat with my 12 inch blade and if you really want to speed the process up just use a heat gun oh and look i was actually going to go to the avalanche rally when they won the stanley cup but i had this appointment but no worries there's always next year anyways now back to the patch here as you can see here it's fairly dry except for the middle uh, i am going to sand a little bit on the edges that way you know you can't really see the patch once i shoot the texture i'm going to be using this tg 600 pump i like using this pump because i don't have to take out the compressor or a lot of tools to you know to just shoot the texture you could go to the link in my bio or video description to get this pump just go to my amazon on storefront click on drywall repair essentials and you should be able to get it it is a little pricey but there's another pump there that's a little bit cheaper not as high quality but it is a little bit cheaper and they are affiliate links so i do benefit monetarily if you're kind enough to use it but anyways after you're done shooting the texture let it set for about 10 to 15 minutes before you knock it down you could just use your regular putty knife to knock it down i personally like to use that magic trowel it gives it a little bit better finish now all you have to do is let that texture dry overnight unfortunately it does not dry enough for me to paint in one day but once it dries make sure you wipe the overspray on the side that this is just gonna make it you know blend in a little bit better with the existing texture luckily the homeowner just painted the ceiling not too long ago so the paint should match pretty good and that's pretty much it jalapeno solutions boom